So, you have watched some YouTubes on Robo One and you've decided that you want to buy a human on robot with legs instead of wheels that can do soccer, fighting, and stuff like that. So, which one should you buy? Well, it depends on your age, your experience, and your expectation. Well, of course, most importantly, it depends on your budget as well. So, these robots, they can be as cheap as 5,000 Hong Kong dollars and then they can go up to like 30,000 Hong Kong dollars. So uh, it depends on what you want the robot to do and how much you're willing to spend on it. Before we go any further, we need to manage your expectation. That is, the robots that you can buy in a shop from a robot company will not be the same as those that you will see in Robo One. So uh, in Robo One, those robots are basically much bigger. They use much bigger servos, road motors, and they're designed by like. You know, people with like 10 years of experience so you know just to manage your expectation you buy you can buy a robot you know just to uh, like a bio gp that can fight like those there uh which is fine but just don't expect it to like beat up everyone just buy an, an off-the-shelf robot right uh you really need to spend a lot of money a lot of money and uh time to build your own robot that's what these people do okay so let's start with the dawa mini which is from robotis a korean robot company uh, it's very light, very cute. Uh, it's very small. Uh, it's very suitable for children. So if you have, if you want to give your, a, a kid uh, a, a robot, uh, but don't want to spend it too much money yet because you're not sure whether where it's going. It's your first robot. The Dawa Mini is perfect. Uh, compared to the bigger brothers, you can see it's very small and it's very light. Uh, but it's also the price. It's only half the price of the bigger robot. It's only five thousand five hundred Hong Kong dollars. So if if you if you like uh, just want to get your hand wet, want, you know maybe give a kid a present, uh, this would be perfect. You know it's very affordable, um, uh, and also if you are an adult who also want to get into robotic, but you know, um, but not sure you want to spend spend that much much money yet, this robot can basically do everything uh, that the Bala Premium can. You can still program it pretty much the same way. Um, you can still make it play soccer, do kung fu, and uh, fight robots. It's similar size. It's controlled by an Android tablet, so you can learn it off from there, and then either build or, or buy a bigger robot later on. So yep, so that's the mini down. It's a pretty good recommendation to start off with. So next off is the uh, Biolog Premium from Robotis. Um, so the Biolog Premium it was basically the first robot from Robotis for educational purposes uh, so that came before the Bala GP which is more for fighting and that came before the Mini Darwin which is more like for entry robot for kids so if, you, if you're not into that really really entry level but you know you want to do a lot of things uh, this is the best robot to learn from uh, you can build human type there's three types of human robot you can build off the kit you can build dinosaurs you can build dogs spiders you can even build cars and, and stuff. You, you, I mean, in fact, you can build anything. This, this, the robot is made out of brackets, you can see. And basically, you just rearrange them and then uh, you can screw the brackets and the controllers together. Uh, you can basically make whatever you want. You can even make a, a trap or a crocodile mouth or whatever. And you can put a sensor, uh, infrared sensor in the mouth and you, so you can put your hand there and it will close and so on. Uh, and the sensors uh, and a gyroscope and the Zigbee infrared thing, it all came with the kit. So once you buy the kit, there's more, more in, than enough brackets for you to try all sorts of things uh, for a robot. So for, I think for, if you're really into uh, trying different sort of things for, from a robotics point of view, maybe for, from a university or from high school, you just want to do some project, maybe you want to do many different type of projects, this is, would be excellent. Um, so, but you, so basically you can also use this for a football competition, uh, the people also take this to uh, fighting in uh, Korea international competition uh, but it's not the best fighting one obviously it's so small but you can do everything so it's very good to and it's good fun to, to learn off with uh, the price is pretty okay uh, it's about twice the price of the Darwin Mini but um, it's much more heavy and, and the servos are much bigger in comparison um, so here it goes you can you know make it go up and, and, and things like that. Uh, in fact, this is my first robot that I used to do Kung Fu and, and fighting. So I will recommend this robot if you're not into really, really fighting and you just want to learn from it. And then again, you can build your own robot after. 
So like here you can have the painted the, the different colors, you can have all these different sensors, remote control, uh, it comes with the battery, you can have make it autonomously walking and so on. So definitely check out this robot uh, if you are education for educational purpose. Next is the Biola GP, uh, also from a uh, robotics company for Korea. Uh, I've made a detailed review video on that, so you can definitely check that out. So uh, the Biola GP is really uh, pretty much similar to the Biola Premium in terms of the way that you can uh, program it, uh, control it. You have like uh, pretty much the same sort of hardware, the controllers, the servos. Um, the, the only difference is that uh, it has upgraded leg servos, so it's much faster and stronger, it can run much quicker, and it's all made out of metal, and it comes with this beautiful case that you see over there. Uh, so if you're not into like making dogs or spiders or things like that, but you really want one which is the best one that you could buy off the shelf or fighting, uh, then that's pretty much, this is pretty much the one you, you, you go for. Um, the downside is twice the price of the Bala Premium, so uh, yeah, so it's a little bit more expensive, but it's made out of, it's very sturdy, very nice to hold on the hand, it's all made of alloy um, uh, materials, um, yeah, so I quite like it a lot, uh, if, if I am to choose a, 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 another robot now, like I say that I've given all my robots away and I'm just going to buy one, and then I cannot make my own robot, I'll go for this one because it's so nice and and, and neat just to hold it, you know, it's like having a, a luxury uh, watch, a watch on your hand, you know, it's very nice. Um, it For competition, uh, I mean, it's definitely not going to be able to beat up uh, the three kilograms robots you see in Robo 1 or Korea robot competition. And this is like a 1.6, two kilograms robot, so it's weight-wise, you know, you just it's like a kid, 50 kilogram guy fighting a 100 kilogram boxer. There's no way you're gonna win. But you can definitely do a lot of stuff, um, uh, you know, have a lot of fun playing soccer. You can still like do Kung Fu and fight and stuff. So yeah, so here's, here's something I did for well, for another guy, client. So it's, it's pretty good. So yeah, so the Biolite GP is for people who really want to jump straight in into like playing soccer, playing, uh, they're, they're not interested in dinosaurs and stuff, they really want it into fighting and they just want the, uh, the best robot that can do that sort of things and they don't, they're not really interested into like, uh, research and that's, that's our robot, uh, you definitely get this one, uh, you know, you can just, you have very, it's very nice, so yeah, so that's it, so so next, I'm going to talk, talk about the Kondo robot. So Kondo is a robot company from Japan. Uh, if you don't know, like uh, Japan is kind of like the first type country that do this sort of robots, like before Bala do. And so they are like ahead of the game. They were ahead of the game. So now the robotics is starting to catch up a little bit. So I'm just going to talk about that. But before I talk about Kondo robot, K Shot 3, I, I just going to say that uh, I never own a Kondo K Shot 3 robot. So I'm just giving some uh, opinion based on what I have read and what I've seen. I, I mean, I have competed with them in competition and I've played around with them, you know, and I've checked out the servo specs and, and things like that. So it's just my personal opinions on this robot. Uh, hopefully that will give you uh, information on how you choose what to buy. So the, as you can see, the cage R3 is very, very neat, all right? So um, the same with all these Japanese robots, the quality is superb, it's, everything is to the finest quality. Um, the servos are like, the, the torques of the servos compared to the weight ratio is a little bit better than the uh, robot servos, all right? Um, so it, it, the walking gait is also much neater. Um, it's partly due to, uh, you know, the programming and, and all that. Um, so, but if you buy the, um, Condos robot, uh, you know, you're just gonna be uh, you're buying it because you like the look of the robot. Uh, you, you like how, how neat it is. It's not for fighting. Uh, you're not gonna make a dog out of it. Or maybe you can make a turtle out of it. I don't know. But you know, you're not gonna be able to do all that soft things. Uh, 
to condos and robotics they use different software the condo used the hot to hot software so you can you can again like twist it and round and then make different motions and kicks and stuff um, but it's a different learning curve so you, you stick with condo then you have to start over again to learn the robotics so who is this robot for uh, I don't know uh, would I what would I buy a, a condo robot uh, well, the reason why I didn't buy a condo robot is because it was not, when I ordered it, they didn't have stock. Apparently, they were not very interested in selling overseas. Uh, I think things have changed now. I, uh, you can buy it, you know, from my shop, whatever. Uh, but, um, so before, the menus are all in Japanese and stuff, but I think now there's more uh, software, the softwares are now in English. So, you could get some help from that, it's no problem. Uh, so, yep. So would I buy a condo KHR3 versus uh, Biolai Premium? Mm, it's a very tough question. It's two different robots, you know. The, the Biolai Premium, you can do all sorts of things like, uh, uh, you know, infrared sensors and, and stuff like that. Uh, just look at the KHR3. The reason why you could do that is the servos are very light compared to its weight ratio. Therefore, the leg to push the robot up with one leg, you know. Uh, and so, yeah, it's very hard choice. Um, if you just want a good-looking robot that can do all sorts of things, yep, then the Condo is for you. It's a bit cheaper than the um, Bala GP, and it's a bit more expensive than the Bala Premium. So there you go. So I hope I gave you some information on which robot to choose, and uh, let me know in your comments below what you're gonna do, and uh, give me some and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye.